Okay, here we are. We're doing this uh, lube job here on this Gen 8. I've got the front portal pulled apart. It takes uh, six little screws there that pulls it apart. The gears are really nice and heavy duty in this thing. They are really, really nice. Uh, but as you can see, there's no lube in that. Well, I'm going to put a lot of marine grease in this. So it's got bearings inside and out. Well, that thing rolls so smoothly that that thing just spins like a dime right there. Yeah, I like that. There's a few other problems here since I've run this thing now a couple of times. Uh, the pan hard bar is kind of messed up and it's kind of not messed up. It's just really loose and it's, and it's wobbling in its bracket back here. I don't know if you can see that on camera or not, but I got to tighten that up, figure something out to do with it. All in all, though, the little Gen 8 seems to be fine. Uh, Going to do a little shock adjustment, preload adjustment on the shock springs. It does really tip over still, even though I'm running the uh, extended hexes. I'm going to put the lube in this. I'm using some marine grease. Uh, this stuff is green in color. And we're going to fill this thing up and put it back together, and then I'll do the rear. Then I'll flip it over and do the other side. It's choices. All, all nothing but choices. All right. I'll be back here in a little bit. Oh yeah, I'm using my 8-man remote and my 8-man 4K. So I'm going to... As you can see here, I'm just putting a little bit of grease around on this thing. I'm spinning the gear a little bit around and around. I don't want to overload it. I just want to make sure it's got plenty of lube to where it does not become unlubed. And I'm sure if this uh, marine grease will will work fine on this thing. Putting that on the bearing tip here and then I'll use my popsicle stick and and just put it back in the in the marine grease jug. You can see right here is the marine grease inside of it. I've got it good enough and I do believe that'll be a, a whole lot better lubed than what it was previously. Now you're gonna get a little squish here I'm sure but make sure that that thing seats down in there nice and snug. Right back in the head specs there and seat problem. Uh, of course, I cleaned everything off with the toothbrush before I took it apart. Um, I'll clean the whole truck after I get all this done. As part of the video, I'll probably zoom through it and do the hyper speed lapse, time lapse. This is the tool that I'm using, Milwaukee. Uh, found this at Home Depot also, and man, I really like it. That'll chuck up in my little drill, or it'll chuck up in this. And for this job right here, you don't want to over torque these screws, so I'm not even using the handle uh, to, to, to torque them down. They're, they're not real tight, and they're so small, uh, and you're threading them into this plastic, you do not want to over tighten them. If you do, you'll rip all the plastic out and then you have to go through and put some super glue in there. Well, you know, all that stuff. Anyways, also you, on, on a plastic to metal screw, I do not use the blue lock tie. So I'm just going through and making sure that all these are torqued down. About the same. Just by using my fingers. Okay, so I've got the portals greased up with this marine grease. I went ahead and put the 12 millimeter extensions underneath there. 